it hello everybody this is the bus driver and i'm here to take you to school we're back with some more nhl 16 via gm here with our colorado avalanche in year two <coughs> just making sure the streams work and it sounds like it to me yeah there we go we got it going so here we are we are six and seven with our colorado avalanche in year two although our team does look very good so that's quite disappointing for a start but you know what our last start was really good and it turned out disappointing so let's hope for the opposite of that so we got us some elite players here looking really good elite uh, potential at least picked up Voracek if you remember in free agency good pickup we got there Vincor is getting the chance here up on the third line with Grigorenko and uh, Carl Salterberg and then uh, there you go that'll Leave it up. Uh, the defenseman, Nikita Zadorov, didn't really grow, which is disappointing. Um, Tyson Berry, of course, growing a little bit there. 89. <clears throat> That's what we like to see. And uh, other than that, we're giving Duncan Siemens a chance here. And goalies. I believe we have Calvin Picard. There you go. Backing us up. Calvin Picard. There you go. Medium elite. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Um, he will be our backup this year. Hopefully he grows. Let's take a quick look actually at uh, um, the AHL. See if anyone here's got any good potential changes. Doesn't quite look like it. Um, oh, there's a top 4D over there. Vigorous, all right. Hopefully he'll turn into something. And then our goalies, I don't think there's anything special there right now, but starter and an AHL. All right, well. There you have it. Ati Tocolopo probably won't turn into anything, but that's okay. Let's get some Simmon done here real quick. We got to get that morale up. It's really, really low. All right, we're going to take it one week here. <clears throat> up against Van City. Oh, we got to get some scouting done first, though. Where have we been? One, one, none. So we're going to go over here to the QMJHL for three weeks. Take a quick look there. Oh, a shootout lost to Vancouver, but a shootout win to Toronto. All right. We'll take the ties there, or the 1-1 uh, the one -one there. And a win against Florida. So our morale's going up. That's important. Morale's been dropping. We were really high that last year, but Dan is probably pissed off. Oh, no, he's not. All right. He's happy. Good to see. And there's a lot of pressure on us, so we're hoping our players pull through. Agozino's happy with our morale. So is Corbett. Corbet. Corbett. However you want to pronounce that. <coughs> We're not going to make any changes here. We're just going to keep going. I wonder if there's been any trades recently. Should probably be checking that more. Sorry guys if that's the stuff you want to see. Definitely have not been checking as religiously as I should. All right, ooh, a loss to Mini, that hurts us. They're in our division. Ooh, but it went against the Oilers, which is surprising considering how stacked their team is. But they are 15-3-1, so there's that too. We got a win against a tough team there. More morale stuff, just get this out of the way. Here, pissed off with... Uh, Management, but you know what? You shouldn't be because we're smart here. Management's making the right moves. You just don't know it yet. You gotta wait and see. You know? Rome wasn't built in a day. So I'm not gonna act like it is. Let's take a quick look here. <clears throat> we're gonna go another week. Yeah, that's what we do. A big win against LA, but uh, we got an injury here to call Slaughterberg, so we're gonna put in uh, I, uh, I don't want to put anyone in Let's put the uh, playmaker in Give him some time out there, and we're gonna put a replacement in of Crisillo or McLeod. We're gonna put McLeod in Cody McLeod he is a long time Av. He deserves it. Oh, and a couple more wins there. Sorel is injured. Don't like to see that. 
All right, Sorella, let's see if we can't. Ryan over there, or, yeah, it looks like it's gotta be Ryan we'll put in. <coughs> I think we got some injuries down there in the uh, AHL, but I'm not sure. Sorella's back. Now I've seen Sorella grow pretty good, so I'm hoping we get the same out of him this year. He's had elite potential for me in the past. Right now he's a medium six still, so that's nice to see. Lost to Dallas, not a fan. Ooh, and an overtime win against uh, 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 Arizona, that's the word. Let's take a quick look here. Landy is happy. We're happy that Landy's happy. And that looks like it, perfect. Take a quick look at our progress report, see if anyone's growing. Probably not. Ooh, Brad Stewart's decreasing most likely. And in the system, Bitten's growing a lot. Gothy's growing a lot. Good, I like to see that. Although he did drop down to the top six. I don't like that. Hopefully he goes back up to his elite. He can grow really high too, so I'm taking a risk on him. Hoping he grows like that. And we're off to the next week. There you go, this is the end of our month, so we'll take a look at the stats. See <coughs> how we're doing. Scouting. Um, any more forwards we want? Eight, five, seven, sixteen. Ooh, I like sixteen. <clears throat> we're getting thin in the scouting now. And Carl Soderberg's back, perfect. We will slot you right back in there. Oh, sounds like the girlfriend's on her last break. It's nice. Let's put back in Salterberg. Yes, we got lots of centers. We got to fix that up a little bit. <coughs> lots of centers. We got got to get these guys to grow. I'm liking McKen McKinnon, Duchesne, and Landy. are probably going to be a good line. We'll probably run that next year. Hopefully. <clears throat> That's the uh, the plan for now. So there you go. We're another month in. We're into December. We're going to take a look at the stats. Huge wins. Love those. Um, don't want to take a look at injuries. We will... Maybe check for trades, though. It looks like Radon Verbata is leading the team. We've got 25 games played, and 18 is our most points. So that's not great. McKinnon's tied up there, too. That's good to see. What a good little player he is. Jeez. Matt Duchenne's 25 now. Almost solidified himself. Hopefully, we get a little more growth out of him. Who is really lagging? Landy is lagging a little bit, but he's a power forward, so you can't expect that. Can't expect too much. Vincor lagging a little behind. Zadarov's lagging behind for. Ah, oh, he is a defensive defenseman, though. <coughs> Let's look at our defenseman. 16 points. That's not bad, Tyson Berry. Impressed with that. And. How are we doing? Our. Alright. Not, not excellent. Not like last year. So hopefully those numbers improve. Let's take a look at the AHL real quick. <coughs> HL's doing much better. That's very nice to see. We want to check our defenseman here. Six points in 21. Our defensemen are not scoring anything, so hopefully our forwards are then. There you go. Cantonasi is scoring. 18 and 21, about as good as our forwards in the uh, NHL. So let's also take a look at... You know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for those flames, so I'm going to take a look at them. Gaudreau's got 16. Monaghan, ooh, so Gaudreau grew to 87. It's nice to see. Anyone else here growing special? Oh, we want to see all skaters, though. Anyone? Ooh, Mark Giordano's leading with 20. Holy shit. 
Doesn't look like anyone's grown too much. TG Brody's not growing for them. Oh, and PA Parenteau's back in the flames. That's funny. Um, anyways, let's go check the whole the whole league. Probably shouldn't be be uh, sitting on one team only. Sydney Crosby's leading with 29 points. Holy shit, what a player. 97 overall. Jesus. Mike Ribeiro somehow is 29. That's interesting. Stam Coast up there with 29 as well. Expect that. Philip Forsberg, jeez. 25, not bad. Nikita Kucherov down there with an 88. Jonathan Drouin has got an 88 overall. All right, nice to see those kind of things. Let's see the defenseman. Who's scoring the most here? Duncan Keith at a point per game. That's impressive. <coughs> Just taking a look here. Anyone else? Roman Yossi. Jeez, they're dirty over there in Nashville. And let's take a quick peek at goalies. See who's got the most wins. 14 for Ben Scrivens. Oh, wow. Holy jeez. Huh. Interesting. Sibian Varlamov's up there, though. All right, that's good to see. All right, all right let's keep going. <clears throat> no need to waste any more time. Actually, how are we doing on time? Let me take a quick peek. Uh, we're going to keep going. Let's go one more month. Shoot a win against the Blues. Nice to see. And a win against the Islanders. Alrighty. We're in we're in the, the uh We're in the games here. Holden's injured, that hurts us. We're gonna move up Zedman or Duncan Siemens. Put in Brad Stewart. <laughs> Big game against Buffalo here, yes. <coughs> and Hishton's injured, don't like that. Um, we're going to put Cody McLeod in. See what we can do here. And another win. Oh, no, we already knew about that win. But looks like that injury's done. Going to take a quick look here. Let's see. Oh, no, it wasn't him. It was uh, Hishton. Hishton's back. We shall put back Hishton. <laughs> Hishton's a center, right? Yeah. And you know what? Hishton was always... Where is Hishton? What the hell? Oh, it wasn't Hishton. That's why it was Holden. All right. My mistake. Duncan Siemens, you can go back. Put Holden back in, and we're ready to go. couple meetings probably happy about being dressed and then unhappy about being undressed giggity Jason Barry's getting the extra time we know Calvin Picard's not doing that great I got faith in you though don't worry buddy you will grow <coughs> that's why you're the back up to Varlamov get that growth in it's really funny Varlamov a lot of people didn't need grow in anything special he's done really well in Colorado well, actually, he was spectacular in Washington. Then, uh, uh, then uh, he had a, what two bad years, and then they got rid of him, and he just sprung back to life all of a sudden. Put Hishton back in here. Yeah, we got way too many centers. We gotta get some winger depth here. Ooh, two bad losses. And we've got some player morale to deal with, so. Jason Berry's happy. I love to see it. Brad Stewart, that's okay. You know, you're you're our depth. Don't worry, we need depth here, guys. I don't know where your spot is on this team. Nashville, come on. Yes, good win against Nashville. They're in our division. 18, 12, and 1. So we've really turned this team around. Matt Hunwick, I'm not interested in. Really turn this team around. Loving the direction we're going in. No player meetings, good enough for me. 
I don't have to go there to do that, but I do anyways. <coughs> Alright, scouts. I think we're looking at forward still. There's 10 there in the Russia. There's 20 in the States, so let's take a look at those 20. Ooh, and a win against Chicago. Lovely. I'm sorry, just taking a look here. Jared Huff is injured. Defenseman down. Don't like to see that ever. Leach is 24. Loriston is 25. Lindholm is 22. Oops, don't want Bigris. Nudes. All right. Bigris. Oh, his physical sucks. Holy shit. Anyways, we're going to put Lindholm in here. We're going to check our morale real quick. Ice and Berry's happy about extra ice time. Perfect. You get that time because you earn it. Vincourt's gelling. Lovely, lovely. I get that morale up. Get them to play at their highest potential. As long as we don't get any goalie injuries, we should be able to win pretty well this season. All right, into the last week of the month. Couple more wins. Ooh, and Varlamov's injured. Don't want to see that at all. Again, Varlamov's got an injury issue here. Not liking that at all. We will call up. I want to call up any of these guys. I'm going to call up Atiti Coplo. Because you know what? If he's gone, he's gone. Um, He's not growing enough for me. Don't want to give up uh, Reto Berra for nothing. So, Calvin, this is your chance to shine. I think we start looking at... Uh, replace... Or a trade for Reto Berra real quick. Who's Will again? Ah, Roman Will. Here you go. You're going to get a chance. Jason Hoff is back. Good to see. Hoff back in. <coughs> Excuse me. Zadarov's been injured. Don't like to see that. Young guy with an injury. Duncan Siemens gets the chance, though. And Brad Stewart is going to be back in to hold down the line for us. Hopefully he can pull it up. Off. Interesting. Looking for something here. All right, there we go. No, it's not working. All right, well, never mind then. Anyways, what were we just going to do? I can't remember. All right, oh, that's what. We already switched our lines. There we go. Figured it out. Hoff is back. Oh, no. Hoff is injured again. I gotta... It sucks, man. You gotta take those risks. You don't want to injure them or re-injure them, but uh, you need your best players out there. They can't be injured. All right. Varlamov's back. Perfect. But... Varlamov back in. Simeon Varlamov. Way to go. Go to our rosters. 
and take a quick look here. We're gonna put back in, or we're gonna move back down Etiklopo. Come on, don't get picked up. Looks like he wasn't picked up. That's what I like to see at least. Not a good sign though, necessarily. It means he's maybe not that great. And let's start, you know what? We're gonna look at that trade of Red Obera next episode, I think is what's gonna be. Etia Cleopolo is back in, perfect. And we're at the end of the month, so we're going to take a quick look here at the uh, scoring we've got. Uh, you know what? We're going to do the uh, morale here real quick. Yeah, there's my timer. So, we're going to do this morale, and then we're going to call it an episode. Our morale's going up. I like to see that. <clears throat> Our team's playing better. That helps, too. They feed off of each other. All right, that'll do it for this episode. For those on YouTube, thanks for watching. Take a look in the description below for my information. YouTube.com slash bus driver, twitch.tv slash bus underscore driver, and at bus driver on Twitter. All those spelled with an L3 US. Um, hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons so you can see when I'm live. And uh, come join me in chat. We'll mold this team real time. Love to have you out there chatting, letting me know where you want to go. Other than that, for those of you on Twitch, stick around. I'll be back for another episode here in just a minute. I'm going to go grab a drink. Other than that, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.